Hey guys, what's going on? What's happening? John at um, Half-Ass Gaming World Headquarters and decided to go and set up Fold the Gap here on a Friday night. And, well, what, do I, what can I say about this game? 1977, I got... Why am I... I've got I've got the new one from Compass Games. It probably came out three or four years ago. The Battle for the Center, the Fold the Gap by Compass. But dude, I want something nice and easy this weekend. I don't want complicated. Feeling kind of let's little commentary here. Feeling a little bummed out. Um, it's a sign of the times, man. I want I live in Massachusetts. Um, wanted to go to Hartford, Compass Games, Expo this weekend, where I always go, um, Veterans Day weekend, I'm always there, except for 2020, the year of the, uh, the pandemic, uh, I've been there every year, but I ain't making it this year, a casualty of economics, my man, poverty, what, actually, no, it's not really poverty. I'm going to Vegas next month, and I've decided to save the few tokens that I have for that trip and decided that Compass Games is going to be a, a casualty this year, but I decided that I was going to set this up and play it this weekend. So let's talk about Full the Gap. We, I already made a video concerning the airbase that is is not where it's supposed to be in West Germany. Um, it's not even close, but that's that's just a that's a topic for a side video. But let's talk about this game. So uh, before you you have off to the right is East Germany. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot I'm gonna close uh, do a close up of the of the map, which I decided not to use Plexi because this bright light I have from above was just reflecting like a son of a bitch so uh, i didn't want to blow my corneas out and i decided to go without it but you know you 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 know you have your map doesn't lie as flat without the uh without the plexi and and it is what it is so anyways um yeah full the gap off to the right east germany the uh we have two armies coming in for the russians they're lined up on the side um, let me go ahead and, and see if we can focus in on them a little bit better than what I am right now. One moment. Okay, so what you have, what you're looking at right now is on the, on the map edge coming in, this is where the Soviets, oh, by the way, before we even talk about them, let's talk about what scenario I'm using. This is 23.0, the tripwire scenario. Uh, this scenario assumes that the Soviets are successful in their attempt to achieve a surprise attack, having concealed their intentions by scheduling the opening of hostilities to coincide with routine maneuvers near the East German border. Seven game turns long. So, you have the NATO forces were, are set up on designated hexes, and the Soviets are on the map edge um, which is just inside the East German border. And here you have, I, it's set them up the way you want them. Stacking is two per hex. And basically what, I, what I have is these guys first guards tank army. And this over here is, what is it? Just the first for, for eighth guards. Okay. Eighth guards army up here. And East Germans, three East German divisions. We're going to talk about what we're going to, what they're going to do. So it's East Germans up there. The Eighth Guards, no, Eighth Guards Army right here. Is this what the hell I got going? Yeah, Eighth Guards Army, these Soviets. And then this right here is the massive, massive First Guards Tank Army. Okay, so that's the way I set them up. Um... Let's talk about a little strategy. Maybe I'm going to back out just a bit with the picture now. Okay, so I've decided to go with this right here. 
So let's look at the northern part of this invasion for us, shall we? So right up here, barely in the picture. I do I have this in the picture right up here? Where's the uh, where's my tweezers? Yeah, right up here is Castle. Okay, so the East Germans are tasked with capturing ta uh, Castle and then moving down one of these roads uh, to Marburg. So, but their main goal is to get Castle and provide and guard the northern shoulder of this advance, okay? So they're like, this is like, if this was the bulge, they're the seventh army on the other side of the bulge, okay? So that's what those three East German divisions are, are tasked with doing. Capture castle and follow the roads and be the, be the uh, guard on the northern shoulder of this advance. So, what is this massive force right here going to do? This is what, 8th Guards Army right here? These guys right here? Can you see them? Oh yeah, you can see them. So they're tasked with following this road network and kicking it on over through this forest um, just north of Bolda and kicking it through this forest. They don't have to go through the forest, but that's the road network, and and heading into Gießen, and then the northern assault on the Frankfurt area. Okay, so this big glob is Frankfurt, uh, Darmstadt, Wiesbaden, Mainz, uh, Offenbach, all this right here, uh, Rhine Main Air Base. So that's the task for these guys straight across to Gießen and kicking it southwest into the northern part of Frankfurt. Now these guys over here, the first, what are, what are they? The first, uh, first guards tank army. They're gonna break into two. And one of these units is going to head, uh, do a beeline straight for Frankfurt. Uh, there's a lot of, there's, I don't know how many uh, tank divisions are in here. And then, the, like I said, half these guys are going to go straight towards Frankfurt. And then the some of these, uh, these units are going to, the road network really doesn't work for them. So I don't know how they're going to do it, but they're going to do an assault on Würzburg down here. And Würzburg is kind of funny because to get across this river, the mi the main river, main mine, whatever, um, into a forest, I don't know what you want to do, but they want to capture some of these bridges intact. There's all sorts of bridges across that. That would be cool, but so it's it's it, it's East Germans up here, Castle, uh, this this Eighth Guards Army the, up through here, Gießen, Frankfurt from the northeast, and then these two guys, uh, uh, units from the uh, First Guards Tank, straight across into Frankfurt, and then. Uh, units from these guys, I don't know how they're going to make the road network work. They're going to into Würzburg and, and Frankfurt from the southeast. That's the plan. Um, what else can I say about this game? Oh, yeah. Um, I decided that they have a... The rules were not hard to understand. If you're a veteran gamer, you understand. There were, all, they were, there were two terms that I have to look at. Uh, concerning Zoc, Zones of Control, and, um, was it Zox that was throwing me off? Yeah, I think it was Zox. There's two terms in here. I have to look, look at it a little more. Uh, Zox, and they have two terms in here I'm not familiar with. Locking Zone of Control, Elastic Zones of Control, all right? Everything in here makes sense to me, man, whether it's stacking, ground movement, the combat, advance after combat, artillery, all that good stuff, untried units like this is PG, PG and G. Um, yeah, but locking and elastic zones of control, I got to go get, go back and give that a read. So to, uh, I've been, I've actually been up today since, uh, it, what is it, what time is it now? It's got to be like five, six o'clock. It's already dark. It's been dark for a while. Um, I've been up since four this morning. I'm not going to kick this off tomorrow. I'm looking forward to doing this first thing tomorrow. I'm going to put everything else on hold and play this game and let the Russians bust out of East Germany. This ought to be pretty cool. But, and I didn't want to end this video without saying that um, I, I did a little thinking. There's three things that 
uh, electronic warfare for what it was in 1977 will be used. Um, uh, uh, NBC, well, not nuclear. We're not going to do nuclear. Biological, gas, um, chemical warfare, yes. Nuclear, no. I don't want to just friggin' set this thing in a flame and, and just blow up. I, it doesn't make sense that the Russians would fight for West Germany just to nuke the goddamn place. That never made sense to me. That never made sense to me. Wouldn't they want to take over West Germany somewhat intact? And I mean, I know there's going to be collateral damage. Shit's going to be blown apart. But take nuking the goddamn thing would seem to me to be, why would they even bother? Because it's all that, and, and the other reason is with the, with, the, with the jet stream, the way it is, all that, all that nuclear waste is just going to blow, it's gonna, the blowback's going right towards them. So I never understood why the Russians would nuke NATO um, if they had a chance to win with conventional weapons. That never made sense to me. So I'm not using nuclear. I will use gas, chemical warfare, and rudimentary electronic warfare rules, uh, given the the, the uh, time frame that we're dealing with. So the invasion is tomorrow. Uh, NATO units up here in the front, they're untried. Uh, almost all units are untried. Um, you have, you have a mix of primarily Americans and West Germans. You do have one, one British armored unit up by Castle and in the background to the North West, there's a couple of Belgian units. So that's the extent of that, uh, for tripwire. I don't know if there's a, like the French, but for this scenario, they're not used. So it's, it's, it's basically the gray are Germans, the green are, uh, USA, and then you have three other units, two Belgians, one, one, one Brit. So it does look like on the frontier, on the front lines at Fulda itself, you don't have much power. Um, there's a couple of German units towards Gießen, which is over here. Okay, there's some units, and Würzburg seems to be pretty damn well defended. Plus, they have a river. Um, might be some bridge blowing. I don't know. I, I don't remember what the rules were for that. If there are rules for blo bridge blowing here, um, Frankfurt is dense with, uh, NATO units. Uh, Würzburg is too, uh, but the rest of it, not so much. So I'm going to, and by the way, uh, I talked about Han Air Base. I'm, if you can, if the, the Russians capture, a NATO air base. I think it's like five points, victory points. Um, but to win with the uh, advanced rules, they need to get like 500 victory points. I'm not even going to give them five points for taking that air base, which is on the wrong side of the, the Rhine River. I talked about that in another video. But this is what you have, man. You got full the gap. Let me, let me pull the camera back so you can get a better idea of how big the map is in the, the rest of the NATO units. One moment. There's Frankfurt. Up there is Koblenz. And, and that's about it. That's about it. So I imagine if you take Frankfurt, if you take Frankfurt that, um, that's that's the jackpot right there. That's the jackpot. Uh, there are uh, it's seven turn scenario, and there are there are uh, looks like pretty much NATO reinforcements. West German, West German, a turn four West German. The, you, you get some French in there, as a matter of fact, as reinforcements. So yeah, pretty much on NATO only reinforcements. So that's going to do it. That's my video for my pregame, my pregame video for Fold the Gap 1977. Let's uh, put it, we'll look at the box again. Nothing but junk in this room. 
That's Full the Gap, 1977. Uh, a lot of people like it. Well, I'll see how I like it because I'm going to start the festivities tomorrow morning. Anyways, I'm John. I'm out. Um, uh, can't wait to get this going. All right. See you guys later this weekend. Bye-bye.